How do my artists welcome to what is this week 13? 13 or so of the update. Uh, quite a few interesting Pokemon in this one. I think the same as last week, we've got a Jellicent. Um, perhaps it'll be exactly the same as last week. If you take Jellicent along, you'll get some more coins on the stage. I'll give that a shot tomorrow. This was just a an easy way to be able to beat it going super effective and no issues at all. You get a couple of extra hearts from it which is kind of nice but I'd say tomorrow I'll certainly try and you perhaps should too try taking Jellison as I think there will be some extra coins in it for you. Then we've got Zekrom up next. Everyone knows this Pokemon. It's been a special stage so many, many times. He pretty much just goes super effective. Flygon, very good on this stage to get rid of some of the Zekrom. Golurk, very good as well to get rid of some of the unbreakable blocks. Mega Camera up, it's quite nice, it's super effective and it's able to do little spots of damage here, there and everywhere as well. And then just Landorus, I think Risk Taker, skill level maybe 3-ish. Which is able to output a fair amount of damage as well. And this stage isn't very hard, it's fairly tanky. But it's, it's really not that bad though. Especially once your camera up is mega evolved, you can just lay back and relax ish while still doing some stuff. Just occasionally, once the Zekrams build up, make a couple of matches with the Flygon where possible, or with the Golurk when they begin to be too many of the unbreakable blocks. Or if there's too many of one or another, make a camera up to there just to clear the board a wee bit. It's a simple, delightful, easy stage that you've no doubt played too many times by now. There we go, six moves left on that one. Not too hard of a stage, my Pokemon are pretty much middling. And I was able to beat it fairly easily. Next up here we have Winking Pinplop. It's a fair easy stage again. Full electric team, although you could take grass, you could take whatever you like, it's a very simple stage. I was able to get the Super Cyborg, luckily off the first turn. And the Mega doesn't really matter, 
it's not going to mega evolve in the time that you've got to be able to beat it or in the time that you will beat it. It's a very easy, simple, run of the mill, casual stage for the what could be an okay Pokemon. It's got Hitting Streak, which is a very good ability. So it could be an okay Pokemon to have, and they're 33%, won't take you more than a couple of tries to be able to catch. Then we've got Omastar up next, Mega Rayquaza, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Koko, and Super Cybolt, angry looking Pikachu. This stage is surprisingly difficult. I tried quite a few different teams for this stage just because it throws a lot of junk at you at different times. It throws happy Pikachus and rocks and blocks and a little bit of everything. So there's two Pokemon here. The Rayquaza before it is Mega Evolved is very good for getting rid of quite a few of those happy Pikachus and Tapu Koko is fair at that as well. Tapu Bulu is just there to get rid of some of the unbreakable blocks that are at the start of the stage and then periodically appear throughout the stage. It's a fairly mixed bag as to what's going to show up. Sometimes there will be no rocks, sometimes there will be very few unbreakable blocks. Uh, I tried bringing along the Primal Kyogre and that run there were no blocks at all so it's just it's it's a whole heap of stuff if you want to swap out the angry pikachu that's fine it is a little bit temperamental it only goes off very rarely But the Tapu Koko with the Eject Plus Plus is very useful here. I have been tempted to try switching it over to a uh, Typeless Combo, but Eject Plus Plus is just a very good ability as well. It's, it's a toss up between two very good things. And there we go, three moves left. Give it a couple of shots, see how you feel, see, get a feel for the stage, as it is a strange one to try playing. And then we have Breloom here, which is a nice, easy, simple stage after that one. And there will be a couple of Pokemon, uh, non-support Pokemon on the stage, so you can bring along Noivere and it's fairly good for that. The shiny Charizard gets Mega Evolved incredibly quickly, so that's very nice as well, once it's fully candied. And the Genesect and the Ho-Oh can just output a, a fair bit of power. So when you combine all of those fast Mega, uh, able to get rid of the non-support Pokemon and good attackers, it's a simple stage. There we go, five moves left. A couple of the moves could have been done slightly differently towards the end there, just to 
hastened it a little bit, maybe have finished with 7 or 8 moves, but that doesn't matter. And then lastly here we have the high speed Charizard, which again is fairly simple, fairly easy, fairly not too difficult. As long as you're okay with these fast paced type stages where you just keep making the matches, it's not too difficult of a stage. Mega Tyranitar you can get Mega Evolved fairly quickly, just keep making matches with it and after that spamming it can be a very effective way of just doing quite a lot of damage, keeping your combo going as long as humanly possible. And then just using it to get rid of the Flareons on the stage that will be there as non-support Pokemon. And the rest of them, the Alolan Ninetales, Regice and the Mamoswine, they're not particularly offensive Pokemon, they've got some good abilities but don't do particularly much in this stage, so they're nice just to have there and you can do some damage with them in the combos but the Tyranitar is fantastic on the stage just for being able to do plenty of damage helping with combos just being the MVP no doubt and there we go that is Mega Charizard and Week 13 thank you very much for watching and how do you my Martists? Eggs, eggs, E double G S eggs. <laughs> <laughs>